have you noticed like people switching up around you the bigger you're getting? People coming out the woodworks, people hitting you for money, you know what I'm bro, saying? That shit be daily, bro. Like, I ain't gonna say no names, but I go through that shit daily, bro. Like, and it's getting to the point, I'd be like, damn, I wish I would never became a rapper. Like, damn, I wish I, what if I wasn't successful? You wouldn't be calling me. You wouldn't be trying to beef with me, make this song about me when you could call my phone. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, it's just like people I never thought would switch on me just changing <laughs> every day. And that shit is how you just thinking, bro. Does that shit happen with like rappers in your city where you thought you were cool with someone, but it might be a good look for them to try to say some shit about you because it helps kind of boost their shit? Man, that's man, you don't know the shit this is going on, bro. Like niggas, you you will think you love for real, like it ain't that for real. Like once you get to a certain level in life, niggas looking at you like, damn, you supposed to do X, Y, Z, but where you was when I was like po, and where you was, why you ain't with me right now when I offer this shit? Like come with me, hit the road with me, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to pay for shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hit the road with me. Grind it out with me. You want to be a rapper too? Come on. Come grind with me. Do what I did. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't nobody. I ain't never had no OG or no older person saying, Humphrey Lil, take this bag of money. Uh, Go do that. You know what I'm saying? I did it myself, bro. Work so I, ethic, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to grind for this shit. So I feel like if you want that shit, you got to grind for that shit too. Yeah, you know man. Show me you want that shit. You know what I'm saying? That work ethic is missing, man, with a lot of these kids, bro. Who you telling? And uh, I feel like that's kind of what separates the good from the greats is that is yeah. that work ethic, that willingness to eat shit for the beginning of your career and go stay in the Super 8 motel in whatever random city you might go grab a little bat bag at. You know what I'm saying? And I come back to sacrifice. You got to sacrifice shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to sacrifice. Anything that's worth worth having, you got to sacrifice. You got to, bro. And I swear, once you sacrifice that shit, it's going to work out, bro. I promise, bro. Like, that shit be God telling you to do the shit. You supposed to go do the shit, but it's just like a test. Like, if you don't, you're going to be stuck in the same. It's common sense, bro. If you don't do it, you're going to be stuck in the same spot. If you do, you're going to elevate it. Is, you know what I'm saying? You got to go get it. You can't sit on your ass all Yeah, day. man. Sa- like, what, 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 what's kind of the biggest sacrifice you think you've made um, to, to kind of get where you are? When I first moved to Atlanta, like, my very first, when I had the apartment, though, not the house, when I had the apartment, when I said, when I was in Jacksonville, I went down, I'm like, damn. All this shit going on around me, this and that. All these labels calling. Niggas dying every fucking other day and shit. I just need to get away from this shit. I need to be in a better environment for me to record, link up with new artists and shit. So I'm like, fuck this shit. I need an apartment in London. I went to Atlanta and that's how that shit happened. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, shit is paying off for you. I mean, you say the deluxe is coming mm-hmm. and you already got another mixtape coming as well. Yup, two mixtapes. So you gonna flood the rest of the year? Yeah, I'm finna flood. Like I'm finna just show them like I'm not just no like this rapper. Um, obviously people know I'm not, but that's the song that blew up right now. That's what's blowing me up right mm-hmm. now in the industry. Like that's what just got my foot in the door. A diss song, the bullshit. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. That shit be crazy. 